So we're looking for two different cars. One is a car to replace our daily, which is our GLE 53. And then another one to or to either replace one of our supercars or to add a supercar to the collection. I don't think we're gonna see any supercars here, but they might have a cool, sometimes they, they have some really cool Porsches in there, like 911s and like rare specs. So uh, let's see. I was actually considering getting a Taycan um, as a daily, but I just don't think that electric charging is where it needs to be yet. That's you want an SUV, yeah, because we want to be able to take it in the snow, take friends in the back, pack snowboards and all that kind of stuff in there. And I just don't think that there's enough room to do it in a car like this. See, this is what I'm talking about. At this dealership, you just see the most random, insane Porsches. This is a freaking 918, so it's a hybrid. I believe it's a V10 with an E uh, electric assist, and it's stupid fast. So like the holy trinity of the of the supercar world used to be the Porsche 918, the Ferrari La Ferrari, and the uh, McLaren P1. Those were like the three cars, and this one was one of my favorites. This and the La Ferrari. Um, she said this car is a 2.5 million dollar roughly. And yeah, give or take a few a few hundred thousand. How freaking cool is that, guys? I've never seen one in person. And see, this is what I'm talking about. Why don't 911s look like this? You know, yeah. they can obviously do it. They can make them look more exotic. That is just insane. Yeah, it's beautiful. Wow. Try to show you guys the interior of this thing just a little bit. Obviously, the inside with the free buttons just looks futuristic. In yeah, a way. and this was a 2015 car, something like that. Look at where the fuel, fuel goes on right here. Side, on the other Look side. how cool this is back here. That is insane. The materials that they use and the technology. Plug in on one. Look at that 918 Porsche Spider. Look at the freaking lights back here and the diffuser and everything. I love that you saw maybe just the wheel of it out of the window and you're like, oh, <laughs> Yeah, dude, I that's. No, just from looking at it. I mean, nothing looks like this. I don't you know? know. Area yeah, like yeah, that's that's absolutely insane. I love it. They have a bunch of other cool cars in here. There was a rumor that they had a GT3 Touring in here, Ooh, but I don't see it. Yeah, don't don't fall over. Look how cool the Porsche Charger looks. That is crazy, dude. I can't believe that. Okay, so here's a question. Maybe as a daily, we get a Porsche Cayenne Turbo GT. <laughs> this thing is over 600 horsepower. Uh, Preston tells me he drove when he's on the track. He said it drives like a sports car. This one they're asking 209,000, which if they're selling, oh, it's sold. Never mind. I was gonna, yeah, I was gonna say if that was selling at MSRP, that would be worth purchasing. Look at that. I love the Nardo gray with the black uh, satin rims and then the shiny calipers. Look at the size of the brakes on this thing. Do you see this, teens? <laughs> Remember when we drove one of these on the track? Not a not a turbo, but no, yeah. we drove the SUV version. It feels like a sports car. That's a bad ad. I'm, the only thing that I, I'm waiting for them to do is full digital dash. When they do a full digital dash in there, Jerry Bear will be on board with this. I mean, they have it in the in the um, the Taycan, so I don't. It's not like they can't do it. Look at the rear end of this thing, teens. Look at these. Yeah. <laughs> that is actually super actually badass. Cool. Yeah. The only thing, my only issue with most of the Porsche models. When you just sit there and rev the car, they don't sound the greatest. Then now the new ones have like soft rev limiters as well. Other than that, they're growing on me a lot more. Oh look, the new EQS, the all electric. Look how cool that is, teens. Yeah, the little stars right there. That's really cool. I like to see people innovating, and the interior of this thing is insane. It's basically an S-Class wow. interior. That looks futuristic. Isn't as that well. isn't that badass? That's crazy. And I think the other ones, there's other ones that have hyperscreens that go all the way across. Let me see which model this is. The EQS, yeah, the AMGs, I believe, of those have hyperscreens that go all the way across. All right, now we just walked across the street to Jaguar Land Rover of Santa Barbara, and they have a freaking Urus here. So we're gonna go check this thing out. All right, so for some reason, all the cars we buy end up being white. Um, this is a beautiful Urus. It's a 2021, it has 13,000 miles, but they're asking $318,000 for this. Ouch. MSRP on these starts at 230 and then goes up from options. I think like a fully optioned Urus is like 280. Um, unfortunately, the market for these, you couldn't do the red? Yeah, but I do like this, dude. Teens, look how aggressive it looks, like with the wheels in the back, like look like they come out from the car. I think we need an Urus. Yeah, it's not, it's not bigger. Twin turbo V8, 630 horsepower with launch control. 
wheels. Dude, it's a nasty it's car. A beautiful when car. this first came out, it was very controversial. A lot of people didn't like the front end on I these, like the end. but I think it looks really cool. It looks really sporty. And dude, there's badass carbon body kits you can get for this thing. Um, or I should say ground effects, not, yeah, exhaust, tune. Look at the brakes, carbon ceramics. That is a massive caliper on that thing. I, like this, look, if I could choose right now, the GLE 63 would be my number one choice, uh -huh. and then it'd be the Urus. The Urus after that? Yeah, dude, really like look at this. Wagon, no, I like the Urus too. Hello. Good, how are you doing? Look at the back of this thing. That is nasty. And you can get like a huge carbon diffuser for down here that's way more aggressive. And again, obviously you can put an exhaust on it, but it does actually sound pretty good in stock form. So there's a lot you can do to this car. Let us know if you guys would like to see an Urus as a new daily on the channel. Look at the size of these wheels. Actually, fun fact, our GLE uh, tires are the same size. They're the same size. I think the 235s is what this should be. So yeah, or 225, sorry. Yeah, so are we, we, have, we can use our snow tires. <laughs> All right, so they just opened it up for us. We wanted to take a look at this. It's nice, it's got leather with Alcantara. Bang & Olufsen sound system. So this car, if you didn't know, is actually based on, what's up buddy? Good to see you, man. How you doing? Um, How you guys doing? This, this car is based on the Audi RSQ8, and then Lamborghini basically took it and overhauled it and did their thing on it. So this is, uh, this is a very nice spec. That's a Cadillac over there. Um, this thing's nasty. So I, like I said, we did drive one of these. <laughs> so the Q8 that we're driving right now, has the exact same layout of the infotainment and then they just did a reskin on it. Um, and obviously they make everything a lot more, like that's how you do reverse and different drive modes. It's like fun to do. Um, it's beautiful. Like this is a really nice spec. And then you got plenty of room back here. So you can actually use this car as a daily, which is why they're so popular. They're Lamborghini's fastest, or actually all time selling vehicle. They've sold over 20,000 of these since 2019 when they first came out, which is insane. So teens, you couldn't do the red? Is this too much? Yeah. If, if it was flip-flopped, black here and just red on the trim, I think that would be better. I do like the Lamborghini embroidery on there. That's probably a thousand dollar option. <laughs> but let's see how the back looks too, real quick. Yeah, see this reminds me a lot. Teens, this looks just like the GLE, like space-wise. It's like pretty much the same thing. It's very nice. Oh yeah. See? So this would be a lot more that dailyable than the G wagon, man. you know, yeah, where you have to like pick stuff up and set it down into a hole, basically. Not getting into a G wagon. And yeah. Like, Hold on. Okay. <laughs> we only have two bags. Room for two bags. I you know. Gotta make six trips to the grocery store. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. I love how beefy those tires are. Look at them. God, it gets me so hyped up. All right. So that's pretty much it for motorcycles and cars in Santa Barbara. Obviously, it's a small town, less than 100,000 people. But that's what I, that's the cool thing about Santa Barbara. You never know. We have a random Urus sitting there that was actually a very nice spec. I think that was a little overpriced for right now, and I think that they're going to come down in price over the next couple of months. Um, so we're going to keep our eye on those. Um, but I really like the Urus a lot. Love the Urus. It has a cool appeal to it, right? Yeah, so I, I think that- But I still love the Mercedes. Yes, me too. If we can get a GLE yes. brand new 63, 63 at MSRP, that's my, my number no one choice. Yeah, um, and that was so cool to see a 918 Porsche Spider. I've never dude. seen that yet. Yeah. That was badass. 2.5 mil and more, and probably going to go up. I want to look up what MSRP was on those back in 2015. If anybody knows, let me know in the comment section below. My guess would be somewhere between 500,000 to a million. So imagine in seven years making maybe double or triple what you paid for the car. That's just crazy. So um, yeah, I think what we're going to do is go down the Lamborghini uh, Westlake Village. So we'll, ch we'll check in with you guys when we arrive. All right, it's the following day. We picked up some We picked up some passengers. Look at Alex, he's all dressed up. Uh, that's uh, Christina's father, Habib. And um, we're here at Lamborghini of Westlake. And actually, the sales uh, manager, Josh, here, uh, sold me my Audi R8 from Lamborghini North Los Angeles, which is now basically this. So look at this, Huracan Evo, two Huracan STOs. These cars were like 300,000, roughly, MSRP, and now they're probably selling for 500. That's the MSRP price. Yeah, so 366 is what you could have bought that for MSRP. Now these are probably selling for 500,000 or more. Another STO or another uh, Evo. Christine and I actually drove two Evos out here um, and an Urus. So beautiful cars. The cool thing about these cars is my Audi R8 is basically like, a, it's basically this car right here. Um, you know, V10, 
uh, engine, all wheel drive. Well, this is probably rear wheel. They stopped making the, oh no, this is, a, this is our wheel. Sorry, this isn't an Evo either. This is an LP610-4. Look at that. But yeah, that's the same engine that's in my uh, R8. Absolutely stunning cars. Oh, and they have an M1000 right there. Look at that. That's awesome. You don't see many of those around. All right, so if you guys remember Josh, he sold me my Audi R8. He's working here at uh, Lamborghini of Westlake. They're actually still redoing their whole showroom. They're even gonna have like a ad personam room back there where you can spec cars out and stuff like that. Um, this right here is an SVJ, 2020, I believe. 2020. 2020 SVJ. Uh, what is the name of this paint, do we know? This is called Grigio Ater. This is an ad personam color. So it's a light metallic gray. Man, it's it's funny. It's not a color I would put on a Lamborghini, yeah. but it still looks amazing. You know, in the sun, it really changes color because it has sparkle like, and like stuff. Two or three different types of gray. Dude, that is insane. So, this car is what's the what's the price on this one? Uh, we're asking seven ninety. Seven ninety is what they're asking, and this car just like two years ago at MSRP would have been around what mid sixes. Mid sixes. Yeah. That's how fast these cars are going up. I've seen plenty of uh, SVJs which stands for Super Veloce Yota, um, that are over a million dollars. So it's pretty freaking insane cars. The, the reason, basically they have the Aventador, right? Which is their flagship Lamborghini V12. And then they have a bunch of different models of that Aventador. And this is like, in my opinion, the craziest version of the Aventador. Now they just released the Ultime, which is the final just a V12 version. So, I mean, you're really not gonna be able to get cars like this from Lamborghini anymore. I think they are gonna be keeping the V12, but it'll be some sort of hybrid assist yeah. or super capacitor battery or something like that. They're, we're gonna see it probably early next year. Um, Where they start to switch over or, yeah. new, or their new model the new that they're model gonna be doing. supposedly gonna come out sometime next year. We don't know what it's called, but yeah. it should still be V12, probably electric motors, yeah. somewhere north of a thousand horsepower. <laughs> That's about the only interval I have. And these are what, 770? 770. And so look at the look at the arrow on this thing, dude. It, this is like my ultimate dream car right here. It always has been the Aventador, and then of course this version specifically. You got the high mid exit exhaust system. You have the most crazy arrow pieces. Like this right here, just the, the rear bumper. This carbon piece is probably like 20 grand. What do you think? Somewhere around there? Maybe more. <laughs> Maybe more? Yeah, look at this wing, dude. And then of course you got that big V12 naturally aspirated engine in there. It's just absolutely like, uh, who comes up with a tray area like this, like engine cover? Like it just looks like a spaceship. And that's what I think Lamborghini does better than any other brand is just make you feel special. If you're gonna spend $700,000 on a car, it better make you feel special, you know? Yeah, this design actually took after the uh, F-35 fighter jet too. Oh, really? So they took really? inspiration from lines on the jet, and then they actually did And you that. can see that on the interior yeah. too, actually. There's a, there's a cool little... Uh, inside, I'm like, it's in the fighter jet. <laughs> That's exactly what it there's feels like. There's actually a cool video of them <clears throat> driving them side by side next to the jet. I'll send, I'll send it to Oh, nice. Hell yeah. So, let me show you guys the interior of this thing. So the car is all carbon fiber. It's like a monocoque frame, similar to um, what they do with Ducatis. And like you can see like nothing, that's just the bottom of the car right there. This is carbon fiber. And then you can see the kind of fighter jet inspired interior as well. Alcantara on the seats, beautiful stitching. The whole door is carbon fiber. <laughs> Look at that. And even to save weight, you don't even get a handle. You just get like a pull <laughs> to pull down. Absolutely. Stunning. I'm trying to convince teams that we need one of these. If you guys would like to see a Lamborghini SVJ on the channel, let me know in the comment section below. My dad sat in there. Really? <laughs> yeah. There's actually a lot of room in here, which is pretty cool. Yeah, you're right. It, like my head's almost like above the window pane, but I think you get used to it just like anything else. My God, it's so cool. Like, I love everything there. Like, like look at the that just to start it. Just to start the freaking thing. Oh my God. Let me come around. See it this sounds like a jet. It does sound like a jet. Look at that. So the SVJ had an exclusive screen, I believe, design, which you could only get in Corsa mode and some of the other cars. Now, obviously, the, dude, this steering wheel, it looked big in photos, but actually is a good, a good size now that I'm in here. And I love the Alcantara around it. I'm in love with this thing. There's your view out the back. Yeah, you just see your freaking <laughs> engine, just in case you forgot what you were in. A cup holder. Yeah. And a useless But there's plenty of room in here. You know there, I mean? Well, yeah, especially for me. Even the Aventador on the door sill lights up, you see that? Yep. This, what's this here? Is this how you get That's out? That's how you get out. So out of the you, door? You put your finger in there and you pull it like that. Oh, wow, really? Yeah, try it. Okay. Pull that thing down and then get out. Let's see how this. 
you see this? And then look, can you point, point it down here? You gotta put your finger in there, pull this, and then push so against So much it. happens in that moment. I mean, this is, <laughs> talk about baller status, my God. And then sitting right next to the SVJ is an STO. So this is basically based off of the regular Huracan, um, but it's like their hardcore track variant. Isn't this kind of like a Performante, for the, like a newer Performante? It's a race car for the road. Yeah. Yes. It's the, it's the homologated street legal version of the Super Trofeo race car. Okay, there you go. So, yeah, that's why it's like all this carbon fiber everywhere. The whole entire front trunk, if you want to call it that, is it's called like Cofango. It's one piece that comes up. I actually love this color, and I'm not a huge fan of yellow, but with the blue, it looks insane. And look at the wheels. Satin finish with the carbon ceramics, center lock. I mean, this is just next level. It looks so incredible. Like even the mirror looks insane. The spec on the inside of the car looks amazing. Like I have a soft spot in my car. I was telling um, Josh, like if I was gonna replace my R8 with something, it would either be a Performante or, pro I don't know if I'd buy an STO for the road, probably like a regular Evo or something like that would be better. But I mean, man, look at this car. It's insane how beautiful this is. It's the exhaust poking out right there. Like you can reach in and touch the exhaust. How cool is that shit? Especially when we're like all heading towards electrics and hybrids and all that stuff. And even like the cover for the car looks absolutely insane, dude. Lamborghini really knows what they're doing because these cars just, they just do something for you. They just look so awesome. Alex, which is your favorite car in here? You like this one, looks wise? Yeah, I agree. All right, so check this out too. When you buy a Lamborghini, a brand new one, um, you get your like a toy vo version of the car that's exact spec of what you purchased. And the cool thing about this car is if you saw me take delivery of my Audi R8, this was actually in the showroom and I fil filmed this car that this was spec'd after. And at the time, I believe it was brand new MSRP of six something. Around 650. 650, and now you're saying, how much do you think this will be going for? Yeah, uh, probably high nines to a million. <laughs> Not a bad investment. And you also get to drive around in that freaking thing right that there. so cool. Yeah. Josh is going to start it up for us. Yeah, it's that. that screen is incredible. We need one, teens. These seats are really comfortable too. They're all Alcantara, and these are um, the sport seats, I believe. But yeah, sport seats. Look at the freaking carbon fiber everywhere. In, I, for some reason, this car appeals to me more than the Aventador does. I feel it's more yeah. drivable, you know. It's up and over the top, like uh -huh. this, and then it helps feed air towards the snorkel. Towards the snorkel. And then this fin the is snorkel. Low, so the air goes through this and out the back. Really. Wow, I didn't even notice that. Looks like a shark fin. And didn't this have something like 50% more aero than the Performante or something yes. crazy? Yes. Oh, Alex, look. 67. Yeah. It's how you open like the that. front. This that is, little, key. little key. It's like a little uh, 3D printed key. That's oh. crazy. It says STO on it. Hmm. So we pop this. Get the other side. Do it, do it together? Or yeah, yeah, go ahead and grab that fender there. Yeah. Just kind of pull up. There we go. Look at this. Like, just, that is so freaking cool. There's your storage. So that's <laughs> Maybe fit a helmet. <laughs> I think that's is that the only for, storage you know? right there? Yeah, from the whole car, yeah. Because they, they take up the rest of the trunk room for the uh, air intakes or whatever the air funneling mechanism is. This is all one carbon fiber piece mm -hmm. for weight savings. And look how cool you can see all the lights and everything like that, how it connects. It's crazy when you actually see like into the cars, like how little there actually is to the car, you know? Right. It's nuts what they do. That's the horn right there. Tough that is. That's the horn. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> All right, we're done. We got to go uh, get ready for the wedding today. Look at that freaking car. Huge thank you to Josh 
for uh, showing us around and they have some really cool cars here today that thing is so nasty my god all right so i think that's it for this video so um a lot going on in this video uh, we definitely want to update our daily the urus i think is my top of the list right now i just really hope the market isn't going to crash on those i don't think it will after talking to josh just because it, it's like one to two year out just to order a new one so that's not going to change anytime soon so i don't see the market crashing on those unless all of a sudden all the demand disappears and i don't think that's going to happen so um i like the urus a lot for a daily and then it's for a new uh, supercar um i really really like an aventador what do you think you liked it too didn't you yeah it's really nice but so we still need to check out some ferraris i want to check out a ferrari uh, 488 um, even an a12 super fast is kind of in our price range where we want to be um the stos are really cool but they're just i think they're too expensive right now and i'm not sure if that's a bubble or not and also they're just not really good for daily. We like to buy cars you can drive every day um, and they're still like super fun. Um, so yeah, that's kind of where our head's at with everything. So huge shout out to Josh from Lamborghini Westlake for letting us hang out. And um, yeah, that's about it. So let us know what you guys think we should do in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and we'll see you all in the next one.